Hey, we're back uh, for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel Collection tin because uh, we're going pretty over time on the on the um, Pokemon one, so I didn't want to drag not too long with this. Let's bring this open. Yeah. My roommate offers me a knife. It's right next to me. I'm refusing to use it stubbornly. Because that's the kind of person I am. If I can't do it with my hands, it's not worth opening. I just can open a lot with my hands. Anyway, in this tin, you're supposed to get like a certain number of things guaranteed, and then some stuff you uh, you get it's random. Uh, it has like own mini set or something. So we got a, a beginner's guide. Yeah, nobody cares about that. Uh, let's see, plastic, then we got a little package here, and I'm assuming there's nothing behind this. Yeah, no. Why would there be anything behind that? And we got a nice gold tin here with uh, things I don't know what they're called. I'm not well versed in Yu-Gi-Oh at all. Can't just name the things on there. There's too many. So I'll just set that back there. Open this up. See what we got. Um, the thing on the front here is a Gaga Ga Magician. It's an ultimate rare. So, uh, may as well show that off. It's one of the things you, you're told you get in this. Um, ultimate rares are really cool. They're slightly textured um, and just they look quite awesome. I'm not sure how well that's turning up on the camera, but like everything's holographic. It's the second most rare thing. Then uh, Ultimate Giga Brilliant, uh, number 20 Giga Brilliant. That's really cool. Really good card right now. I don't I have no idea about Gaga the Magician. I don't think it is. Cause I keep hearing things about it, but Giga Brilliant's good. Um, we got ourselves a Gaga Ga Bolt. That's also Ultimate. Uh, it's pretty good, I guess. If Gaga guys are ever, ever become good, this will probably be with them. That's all I can say. Accelerate. I, I'm not sure if I'm still even in the guaranteed stuff. Um, that's not bad. I could actually use this, I think. Maybe. I don't know. No idea. Uh, number 19, Frieza. Dragon, Frieza, Frieza Don, Frieza Don. Uh, that's pretty cool. I have no idea if it's any good. Um, let's see. Uh, he's not bad, I guess. It's pretty cool. Uh, shiny. Number nineteen. Gaga Ga Shield. Um, it's part of the. Everybody loves the Gaga guys. Because they take up slots for everything. Number uh, 61, Volcasaurus. Apparently it's rare. I'm, I'm, I'm being informed that it's rare. So that's cool. I have no idea if it's any good either. Um, it's not fantastic. It's not bad either. But it's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, just kind of staring, standing there. Dimensional Wanderer. I don't know these cards, but um, looks like it would be not a bad thing in a Galaxy Eyes deck, which is pretty cool. Photon Pirates. Um, again, looks like a Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. If that becomes a deck again, which it looks like it will be. It might, it, it's part of the archetype. I have no idea if it'd be played, but it's shiny. It's cool. It might be. I don't know. Dodo no warrior. <laughs> um, that's, that's, um, 
that thing there in the corner, apparently, I'm being pointed out. I probably would never have noticed that. Um, taking a step back, this uh, Volcasaurus is that thing right there. That's pretty cool. Got one. Of, got two cover cards on here so far. Um, but Dodo -Do Warrior, it's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Um, it probably will be the new Gagaga, -ga, but it's a level six monster. You can just normal summon. That's not bad. So yeah. Um, other than that, it's pretty terrible. Message in a bottle. Other than a good song and a really cool artwork, I don't know if it's any good and the text is too small for me to read from here so I'm not gonna bother trying to figure out if it's good or not um, but it looks really cool so hopefully it's good I'll check out that later Galaxy Zero another Galaxy card um, because it's a quick card though I have no idea I, I'm kinda doubtful that it's any good but um, it looks cool with the Sun and the sky that's really cool uh, triple Star Tryon. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it's bad. It looks bad, and usually in Yu-Gi-Oh, if it looks this bad, it's bad. Um, eh, it's not absolutely terrible. It's just pretty bad. Then uh, the last card is Zubaba Buster. Wish you knew more about car these the Yu-Gi-Oh cards as a whole, but judging by the fact that I've never heard of it, it's probably not good. But judging by the fact that I have no idea anything Yu-Gi-Oh really anymore, that's not saying anything. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look too good at a glance. So just gonna get to other more interesting things, I guess. See how. I'm going to I'm going to show the ultimates again. Actually look at them more carefully now. So I got that message in a bottle, whatever that is. Um That's actually pretty interesting. I bet there's a use for it that I can't think of, but actually I can think of a couple uses for it already. That's actually a pretty interesting card. I I want to try that out. Then there's the Frizadon, the Volcasaurus, the Gaga got bolts with its. I, I like the ultimate lightning right there and the water at the bottom. Those look really cool in the ultimate. I don't know. Yu Gi Oh and Pokemon have such different styles for hollows, and I really like these, but I feel like. I, I don't know. Pretty cool though. And there's Giga Brilliant again. Uh, just really shiny card. This, the other one wasn't as shiny as this. It's just kind of like it, it. It keeps getting glare and shining directly into my face. So yeah. And there's Gaga -ga Magician that nobody will care about ever. I don't think just because it's a Gaga. -ga -ga. Um, I think people would, but yeah. So, yeah, that's that's all I got. That's it for this tin. Hope it was interesting. I probably will be boring you guys while I'm attempting to read these cards I don't know anything about. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.